Craig Wood and welcome to Out in the Field. It's a short program for the inquiring mind with little to no spare time. It's an update that highlights programs, projects, and activities of agriculture, natural resources, and horticulture. I'm here in Morgan County at the Morgan County Demonstration Farm and joining me is Sarah Fannin. She is the County Agriculture and Natural Resource Agent here in Morgan County. And Sarah, tell us some things you do here at this demonstration farm. Well, this farm here is unique in that we have a really practical down-to-earth experience here for our fellow producers here in the county. They can see that we have the same battles and the same environment to work in as they have. And so we try to implement projects that are very useful for them. Everything from water harvesting to how we can clean up our pastures, reseed, renovate, how we can get the best utilization out of our uh, pastures. Uh, everything from forages to animals, just a little bit of everything that folks can use. So tell us a little bit about the beef projects you have going on. Well, each year we partner with uh, Morgan and surrounding counties. Uh, so it's a regional project to host a different beef series, whether it be pasture to plate. Uh, this year we're focusing on cow and calf management, trying to look at those areas that our producers here have the most issues with and can gain from. And you cooperate with other counties with this farm and all as well, don't you? That is correct. Our, it's just not a Morgan County farm. It's a surrounding county area, a regional farm as well. Because uh, we all have, we have a lot of similar characteristics here in East Kentucky. And, uh, but less resources. So if we can pull our resources and work together on this farm, it's definitely made it more successful. I'm here with Lee Mosier. He's an extension associate with Biosystems and Ag Engineering. And he's going to talk to us a little bit about the fencing operation here at the Morgan County Extension Demonstration Farm. So Lee, what, what's going on here at the farm? So what we've developed here is an example of what rotational grazing system could look like. This is a greatly scaled down version of what a producer might see on their farm. We're only working with about three to four acres of property here. So if you come out and see what's going on, you can really wrap your head around what rotational grazing is all about. We've got different examples of types of fencing, including five strand electric fence. So we've got seven strand non-electrified high tensile wire, and we also have high tensile woven wire on the other side of the lane. So we're just trying to demonstrate as many different kinds of fencing options as possible for this rotational grazing system. We have also shown off the electrified poly wire reels to make grazing units with step-in pigtails across the pasture. We've also shown off some of these spring uh, electrified gates to segregate different areas of the lane system and control traffic. So, uh, so a producer could come here and look at this and get an idea of what they might do on their operation for their cattle or sheep or whatever livestock they might be running? Absolutely. It's an opportunity to come out and gain hands-on experience and see all the different options that we've implemented here on the farm. Well, we sure appreciate you having us out and sharing what you're doing here at the Morgan County Extension Demonstration Farm okay. and uh, looking forward to great things coming out of this farm. Thank you all for being here. Thanks, appreciate Sarah. It. Just a little bit of information about new hires and transfers. We had a transfer of Stacy White from Bell County to Whitley County in the ANR position. So if you have any ideas about programs or activities or projects that you want to highlight in your county, just let me know and I'll see you out in the field.